come around far too quickly. You know, tw it doesn't feel like 12 months at all. You know, sometimes I think the fact that you've run it before makes it more difficult because you kind of know what you're in for. The nerves are definitely, they've been settling down all week. You don't know how it's going to go on the day. And um, actually, I just hope I get through it without too much um, pain and discomfort in the last, the last 10K. If you'd seen me this morning, I was a quivering mess, <laughs> uh, waking up thinking I've only got 24 hours to go, but now I'm actually feeling so much more calm. London is amazing, London is the best marathon you can do and I never really thought it was true but doing it today is just amazing. There's people cheering you everywhere, there's not a single like, meter where there's no someone shouting your name. You will hit those walls at some point uh, but the crowd really just dragged you down those streets of London, especially once you put your name on your shirt and you know they really do get you across that finish line. The Tavener's involvement has been absolutely brilliant, made a special occasion even more special. So yeah, really good, really good encouragement. All the cheering on really makes a difference. We now have a time of 4 hours 50, Sam Sargent! There's something special about running in mass participation sporting events. I think there's a feeling that you can't get any other way. I think it's so important that everyone gets that opportunity to be able to take part in that and have a sense of pride in being part of a team as well as doing things or a sport by themselves. There's a really direct and visible benefit from uh, the money that gets raised. 